לילה אלא לה, לילה אלא לה, לילה אלא לה, מוחמד אפילו לא, הק בסודקה. אללה אלון, בסם אללה א-רחמן א-רחים. אללה אלון, is the single light of truth that reveals both heavenly and earthly planes of being. Meditate upon divine light manifest as a mystic flame protected by transparent glass that glistens like a star. This spiritual lamp placed in a high prayer niche is kindled from the oil of a transcendent tree not found in east or west. an oil luminous by nature, needing no spark of material fire. This light of the soul shines forth within divine light. Through such profound meditations, Allah Most High guides whomever he wills into his most intimate light. Allah is omniscience. Allahu bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahu nuru samawati wal ard mathalu nurihi kamishkatin fiha misba al misba hu fi sujaja azujaja tu ka anna kaukabun duriyu yukaru min sajaratin mubarakatin zaytunatin la sharkiyatin wala garbiyatin yakadu zaytu wa yudiyu walaulam tamsasu nar nurun ala nur Nurun ala nur, nurun ala nur. Yehdi lahi li nurihi mani yasha. Wa yadribu allahu lamthala ni nas. Wallahu bi kulli shayin alim. Sadaq allahu lazim. Alhamdulillah. 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 Ayat of light. The... amazing revelation of the ayat of light. And now I'm going to read you a beautiful poem of Ibn Arabi. We were lofty letters, unuttered, held latent within the highest mountain peaks. I am you in him, And we are you, and you are he, and all is he in him. Ask those who have attained. We were lofty letters, unuttered, held latent within the highest mountain peaks. I am you in him, and we are you, and you are he, and all is he in him. Ask those who have attained. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. This is a, a drop of knowledge. This is a true drop of knowledge. Kurrabbi zidni ilmen. We are now studying the, um, the divine name, uh, the knower, or the, the manifestation of all divine knowledge. And the one who knows intimately, the one who knows uh, an ant walking in the depths of night, the one who hears, so ya sami, ya basir, the one who sees. So we are always in this hearing and this seeing. We are always in this subtle realm. Um, and we are always prior to creation. Our true being is also these unuttered letters. in him, through him, with him, by him, for him, as him. So this, this is the nature of the, the, our inner being, our inner self, our inner reality. And, and this is why we need to make these spiritual retreats. This is why we need to be called back out of this realm of such intense uh, magnification, manifestation, action into the realm of uh, before uh, before everything I was. While Adam was between water and clay, I was a prophet. And as Allah says, I was in the cloud and I am still in the cloud of complete potential prior to creation. So we are always living in both this 
this intense manifestation of activity that seems bewildering uh, to us and also in the depths of our being. So we are asked to continuously return. So we, we are like a cycle. We are the water wheel that goes from the hidden innermost, the unuttered letters, that's us, to the most manifest, the most resplendent, the most dazzling. Um, and, and so this is, we, we cannot do this without a bridge. We cannot do this without a supreme guide. The guide is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Of course, the guide is Allah. Of course, the guide is our, our peers, the guide are our sheikhs, the guides are our, our companions. The guide is every event, but we need the interpretation of those events. We need uh, the interpreter, the tajuman. So again, the Tajuman is the one who came first into creation, the one who has received the totality of the letters, the, the, that being, that beingness, you might almost call Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, beingness for, it is the, this, he is this first light and all then englobed in this final prophet which is a miracle to us. We can't, the mind cannot conceive how totality of being can then enter or be, you know, flowing or in, ensconced in a, a limited being, let's say an earthly, the earthly form. And this is why we are bewildered by our own self, because essentially we are built on this model. We are the divine, we are the infinite, or you could say it's not even we are, that maybe that's the wrong construction. Allah is, Allah is. And we, if there's any such thing as we, this manifestness of Allah are, are with Allah. We are the unuttered letters of Allah in Allah's own secret essence. How amazing, how amazing. So on this, we should contemplate. On this, we should focus and uh, not be distracted by the world. This is where the guidance comes in. This is where the Quran, but if there, unless there's an interpreter of Quran or an embodier of Quran, as we have in the great saints and the prophets, uh, each embodying the, the, you, you, the, the, the manifestation of the book as it came to them, uh, then we have no way. Then we are lost. We are like, uh, you know, just pieces of wood tossed in a, in a stormy ocean and, and, and lose our way. But the guidance is also in us. So there is a thread of guidance. And those whose um, guidance is to return to the source in the way of life uh, they will be guided and they will connect to the great messengers and mothers and they will connect to the friends of Allah who are living uh, at each time in the world. So um, our, our community has been uh, guided and uh, I, I want to thank Sheikh Amina uh, to offer a retreat at this time these beautiful communal retreats where we all, our hearts are all uh, in, in harmonizing and on a conscious intentional level, because we are always harmonized as a mystic community of the peers, always harmonized. But um, when we set our intention, we, we, we can uh, receive and, and achieve an even higher level of an integrity, of unity and of uh, fruitfulness because when we do something together, it compounds. Uh, and therefore, at this time, throughout this month, we have made the intention to, um, to not allow negativity to inhabit our being, to not allow negativity to inhabit, not only inhabit, but to, uh, to, to, to make, become present and so, uh, but of course it, it does through thoughts. I mean, our, our thoughts are, are like a, a windy open plane. And so thoughts come, they go, they're blown in, they blow out, but we don't let it 
We don't let them abide. And so, um, and let's try that as an experiment. Sheikh Noor said, uh, this is a great experiment. He knew that the coming of a the the this tremendous power of the tradition of uh, Islamic Sufism, guided by the most extraordinary beings, the, the all our, our, our uh, um, all our ancestors in Sufism, and our and our guides, uh, coming into this uh, Western world. You know, and we won't even, I won't try to describe what it is, but all of us have some notion. It's a tremendous experiment. And the alchemy that's going to come about is huge. And the the, the effects will be huge. A new, a new human civilization will come about, inshallah, is coming about already here. So um, this experiment for the remainder of the month not to think negative thoughts, not to follow them. So if it comes, you turn immediately. You recognize, and all right, it's the it's the guest. This is we are the guest house, but you know, it it comes and it goes. It doesn't have to remain, uh, and uh, and we don't follow the consequences of it because it is from the whisper. So that we know when we read this of our reality, what I've just read. Uh, and then anything else that would diminish that, veil that, uh, um, harm that, and and harm the relations of those of that essential relation. I am you, and you are me, and we are him, and we are in who um, is the whisperer. So uh, yes, this is an invitation to live on on a very high uh, level on a very high, beautiful, luminous level. And alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. So I, I will read you also one, um, one phrase of this beautiful poem that has been recently translated. It's really, it's a salawat, not a poem, but it also reads in, in the beauty like a poem. It's called the blessing prayer of divine effusion upon the reality of Muhammad. And it's in a book, Patterns of Contemplation. And it's this one. Patterns. And I think it's made, it's put on the internet. Uh, they decided not to only sell it. I think they do sell it, but they, at some, they decided to make it available to all because it's so important. Translated by... Um, Hertenstein and in Spanish by um, Pablo Benito. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, O Allah. Effuse, so this is the assalamu alaikum part. Effuse the freely given bestowing of your blessing prayers and the health giving security of your peace greetings upon the first of the individuations overflowing from the lordly cloud. So that's reference to the prophet as this first manifestation, the first to come into existence, the gathering of all the names, and the last of the revelations descending to the human species. And uh, it goes on in that in a very, very grand way. Um, and I will read you um, some of those phrases. The secret, so this is part of the nature, the Mohammedan nature and, 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 and treasury, the secret of the he-ness, that's who, who-ness, that permeates into each thing and that remains free from everything and naked, mashallah. So maybe when we say, may I stand naked before your divinity, we're also referring to that nakedness. God's trusted keeper of the storehouses of bounties and their depository. So that that the the nature, the, the Mohammedan nature is like this, almost like a tablet or or a treasury where all divine treasures are stored. And the apportioner who divides them up in accordance with the receivers and their distributor, meaning Allah the word of the supreme name and the opener 
of the sealed and coded treasure. So the, the, the prophet, peace be upon him, has opened um, a, a new realm or has, uh, has received new knowledge. And uh, we are also in, in in the study of the name Ya Alim. So, and Allah has actually um, commanded, ordered um, the Prophet to seek new knowledge. And so, this is part of our Muhammadan nature of of all humanity, of all creation. So, this is part of our our questing, our thirsting, our desire for experience. Is this quest for, for for the new, for a new revelation of Allah, because every breath brings a new revelation of Allah, particularly if we are aware of it. Otherwise, it goes somewhere into a, a recorded state in ourself, but not really taken note of, not, not giving its benefits, full benefit. So by, by clearing our mind of negativity, by clearing our mind of obsessions, that come with negativity. Um, we are freeing up this open space in ourself to receive these mysteries, these treasures that are uh, that are our true inheritance and, and the true inheritance. So what we see in the Prophet of Allah is also what is in ourself. Otherwise, we would not see it. Anything Allah does not show us, we, we do not attain until Allah shows it to us, manifests it in us. If it is manifest in Rasulullah, in some degree, it is manifest. Also, it can come or does come, is inherent in us. So I wanted to come to this. So peace be upon the grandest mountain. And I had a dream years ago during the lifetime of Sheikh Muzaffar of the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as a mountain of light. Uh, and an ocean of knowledge. So a mountain of light. That's what I saw. Uh, the grandest mountain unmoved by divine self-revelation away from the station of stability. So uh, this is also important for the Sufi path. That's what we call maybe sobriety, ecstasy within sobriety. That anything can come to us, but we are unmoved in our rootedness in Allah, in our rootedness in our essential station, which is, you know, complete servanthood, which is complete open space. To be the servant is to be the open space, is to be the nothing who is always receiving. And the vastest ocean, unsullied by any polluting negligence, away from the purity of certainty. So right there, and those are the two things that I jumped of to the mountain and the ocean. And peace be upon the pen of light that flows with the ink of the high letters. So didn't we just say that we were the letters? Ibn Arabi speaks of the letters that are unuttered, that the letters in him, in who. Uh, the pen of light that flows with the ink of the high letters and the breath of compassion that permeates the components of the completed words. Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. So we, we, we say to we take refuge in Allah's words of perfection. We say that in our, I think, morning and evening word. Um, so those words are also the, you might say, the, the revealed words, they're also the, the, the prophets, they're also the, the words of truth. Um, I tend to see words and letters as, as people, as human beings, uh, embodying these abstract um, principles. So, alhamdulillah, 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 alhamdulillah. So this just gives us a, a, a taste, a beautiful taste. And I'll end with this beautiful, um, well, I'll, I'll end this portion with this beautiful Friday evening prayer of Ibn Arabi called the Seven Days of the Heart. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh my Allah, all the high fathers are your servants. And you are Lord of all, absolutely. 
You unite the complementary contraries, for you are the majestic, the beautiful. There is no end to your sheer delight in your essence. So that's very important for us. There is no end to your sheer delight in your essence, for this is where our, our delight, you know, we want our delight to um, share in Allah's delight. And, and this is what the path brings us to, so that our delight is not from what is passing or the aspect that is passing. Our delight is in this essence that is always there. There is no end to your sheer delight in your essence, as there is no end to your witnessing of yourself. So this is, again, where the, the dervish uh, desires to enter. So we desire to enter that witnessing of Allah uh, our, uh, by our own witnessing, through our own witnessing. And when Allah says, I become the, the eye by which you see, it said, at that point, we can see Allah, we can be a witness. You are too majestic and perfect for us to contemplate, and you are too sublime and beautiful for us to describe you. You are transcendent in your majesty, far beyond the distinguishing marks of contingencies, and your sublime beauty is sanctified from being assailed by inclinations toward it through passions. Oh, wow, that's a strong one. And your sublime beauty is sanctified from being assailed by inclinations towards it through passions. I'll leave that one, because Effendi said, of course, as Sheikh Noor said, God is love. So that all love eventually, whether, uh, but it's a transformed love. And so Sheikh Noor has the line in the Ali, passionate love transformed by divine love. Passionate love transformed by divine love into divine love. So wherever we begin from, wherever we begin from, uh, we will, if we are, if that is our beautiful destiny, we will come to our source. Alhamdulillah. And of course, the dervish is the one who longs to go there more quickly. And um, and also to, uh, you know, that's just part of the ambiguity. We don't know whether what we strive for in this world, it, it says what you strive for, you will attain. So even if we might not feel the complete fruits of it, but if it's in our intention and in our direction of our life and in our striving, we will attain it. Um, because otherwise, of course, we reach Allah's mercy, but even in Allah's mercy, there are degrees and degrees and the, the lovers desire the most resplendent, the most profound, the most complete, the most, the deepest, the nearest, the most intimate, that's what the lovers desire. They're never, in that sense, satisfied. And so we can imagine the hereafter as a continuous um, life of uh, unveiling of this beauty. But we have to desire it. We have to want it. And we have to set our life in accordance with it. So let's, this beautiful retreat now that we've set ourselves upon, um, let's do it in all earnestness. And... Um, and, and and not let ourselves get pulled and when we feel that string of the of the dunya so the dunya is just a state of mind really it's not creation which is perfect when you feel those pulls we just focus back focus back focus back into the into the heart of the reality of love of boundless love perfect beauty sublimity alhamdulillah so let's have a moment of silence. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Salawat Munjia that appears in our evening weird. Allahumma saliyana sirina Muhammadan salatan tunjina biha min jamil akhwali wa lafat wa taktilana biha jamil hajat. What to Tahiruna Biha Minjemi Sayat, 
وترفعنا بها على الدرجات وتبالغنا بها أكثر قيات من جميع حيرات في الحياة وبعد الممات. Most beloved Allah, please shower upon our cherished master and guide Muhammad your magnificent blessings and prayers through which you will save us from all fears and protect us from every evil. Through you which you will fulfill all of our needs and cleanse us of every negativity. Please shower upon him blessings through which you will elevate us to the highest levels of spiritual realization and nearness to you granting us the ultimate of all goodness in this life and beyond death. Amin, amin, amin. And in the words, the Quranic uh, ayat, in the words of uh, Sheikh Noor, the most beautiful pattern and empowerment for the holy way of life has been manifested through the messenger of Allah for anyone whose sole hope rests in Allah Most High and his eternal day. Sadaqallahu al-Azim al-Fatiha. Allahumma sayyana Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ni Sayyidina Muhammad wa sabbi wa sallam. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Rahman irahim. Maniki omidin. Iyaka nabudu wa iyaka nasta'im. Ihdina sarata mustakim, sarata nidina namta alayhim, khairu magdubi alayhim, waladamin, amin, amin, amin. In the words of Sheikh Musafir, just to recall his blessed being, uh, a draw from the ocean of love and an atom from the sun of knowledge that Sheikh Noor emblazoned on his great book of Sufism, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Ooh. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Ya Rab, Ya Rab, Ya Rab, Alhamdulillah. Ya Kareem, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, Ya Kudus, O oh Allah, you who are most holy, uh, holy being, manifesting as all of this, how bewildering, how astounding. Uh, open our hearts to love, for lo love is the way. Lo love is the way in which our, we comprehend beyond our minds, in which we are completely harmonized with you, O oh Allah, for you are love. And, um, and may we taste all, all your expressions, all, all your divine names, all your manifestations from the most sublime to the most manifest for the, the sublime prophet of Allah and all the messengers of Allah. Yet they, they walked on earth, they, they ate food, uh, they, they were in human form. They, um, the prophet, peace be upon him, offered his prayers in the bed of his beloved Aisha who would simply move her legs when he went into prostration. How, how human, how beautiful, how tender. Uh, all of these expressions are yours, O oh Allah. You, uh, as it said, you bring together the opposites. May, may our breast also be able to, um, to be this, this place where, where opposites can, can, can coexist and um, where we are not, uh, becoming obsessed in, in one way where we are not becoming narrow. Please open our breasts, expand our breasts, clarify our minds, and, 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 and fill our hearts with your love and our lips with your love, our seeing with your love, our hands with your love, our feet with your love, O oh Allah, so that all becomes love, O oh Allah. Uh, for that is the, the true essence of, of, of your reality, at least as it's been transmitted into our heart, O oh Allah, this light of love, uh, where, where all exists in the most perfect way. Amin, amin, amin. And trusting in you, may we entrust ourselves to you completely. Give ourselves to you. Al-Fatiha. The Surya Janabi Hazreti Pir Al-Fatiha. Allahumma sayyana sayyidina Muhammad wa ala sayyidina Muhammad wa sabbi wa sallam bismillahi rahman irahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin rahman irahim 
Maniki omidin, Iakan obudu, Wayakan esta in Ichdina Sorata mustakim, Sorata nidina and umta and ahem, Kaido Magdubi and ahem, Amin, 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 who 